Hey dudes and dudettes, here with another Path of Exile gym video for you. This one's going to be on Blood Rage. It's basically a buff, and uh, we'll go over it and talk about it, talk about some builds or some uses that it has. Blood Rage. Chaos, spell, duration. So anything that's going to buff your chaos damage, your spell, or your duration is going to be with this. Uh, whatever you link it with support or any passive nodes or armors that you have that buff those. Level 10. Mana cost 24. The mana cost is not very high on this, uh, even after I've leveled it to 10, uh, and so it's not going to be a big problem to cast for anyone. Requires level 46, 104 dex. Uh, I've leveled it to 46, but the you can see that the dex cost is quite steep on it, so this is mainly built for someone that's going to splash quite a considerable amount of dex, or is a full dex character. Adds a buff that deals chaos damage over time, while increasing attack speed and life leech. Killing an enemy while the buff is active refreshes the buff duration and grants a frenzy charge. That's the usefulness of is that every time you kill an enemy while you have the blood rage up, it's going to refresh it and give you a frenzy charge. And so if you're on a map or zone that has considerable density of enemies, you're going to keep frenzy charges up the whole time. Uh, think of how on the ledge runs you're always killing. So it's dang near up, cons uh, you know, three charges dang near up consistently. Base duration is 12.80 seconds. That uh, actually levels as you level up the skill, uh, skill gem. 29% increased attack speed when on low life. Now on low life builds, that's tremendous amount of attack speed. That's having like having another faster attack support gem with you. And uh, if you're building a low life build, uh, and you have the armor that blocks chaos damage from penetrating energy shields, you might use this. 5% of physical damage from attacks leeched as life. This is a great um, uh, way to get a considerable amount of life leech as well. So uh, the way I balanced it off is it leeches, like, yeah, here you see, you lose 3.9% of your maximum life per second as chaos damage. I, uh, I negated that by taking a considerable amount of health regeneration. So I never have to worry about the degeneration of the you know, the, and the chaos damage doing to me. So it's all a plus to me to have the five physical damage from attacks leeched as life, especially since this is a physical damage character that uses Cyclone and uses, uh, you know, quite a bit of damage. Gain a frenzy charge on kill. Now, anybody that's going to be using discharge or anything like that, uh, this is a great skill to use to farm your frenzy charges. Uh, th same with flicker strike or anything that uses frenzy charges and I'll show you. You don't need it to have it supported by anything because it's not uh, unless you want the duration up which it's not a big deal. Uh, so I say you, you can even socket this in one of the ring sockets and lower down the chaos damage for yourself. Okay we're gonna cast it down here and I'm gonna show you what it does. Uh, well we'll show you without it See, nothing. Uh, no frenzy charges. Now let's cast it with frenzy charges. Boom. See, you're always getting frenzy charges with this, and you kill another, recharges it back up, recharges back up the buff. So you're always going to have that, and the duration goes up as you level it. So. The longer you uh, you use this skill gem, once it's like level 20, you're not going to have to worry. You'll be able to go through whole zones and never drop your three frenzy charges. And the more frenzy charges you get, the more you can farm. If you can have five to seven frenzy charges up, you'll have them all up off of one horn. Uh, you can see when it's off, nothing. But as soon as you cast it, frenzy city. So if you're going to be using uh, discharge, it's it's going to be awesome for you if you're using anything that gets buffed by frenzy charges or anything that you consumes frenzy charges like flicker strike this is something you should be looking into uh... it's very useful and if you're a melee character that can handle the degradation uh... you know the 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 damage it does to you with chaos damage i suggest using it just for the five percent uh... physical damage uh... leached and the stuff you gain from frenzy charge. Uh, here you can see that each frenzy charge gives you 5% attack speed and 5% cast speed. So for a melee attacker you're gonna get 15% a cast speed and 5% life leech by using this. And uh, that's that's not too bad. Uh, and the more frenzy charges you get even the more you know attack speed you're gonna get. So you can see the 
the uh, the power that that could uh, give you just for a measly 4% degradation off of you. Well, well, 4% debuff that does chaos damage to you. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, it opened your eyes to a cool uh, gem. And uh, as always, take care, be safe, and be cool to each other.